Summary of Legal Terms, page 97. Number 1. Halachot, Rabbinic. A law or laws derived directly from a manipulated interpretation of Scripture or rabbinic logic that oftentimes uses a proprietary series of filters from one or more of the many interpretation rules built on the seven rules of Hallel. Number two, minhagim. Customs are traditions enacted as law. This is built on the axiom, minhag Israel Torah he. A custom in Israel is Torah. The line is blurred between rabbinic halacha and minhag. Number three, takanot and gezerot. Enactments and decrees of the rabbis, invented out of thin air with no scriptural justification. Simply new religious laws framed with the authority of the oral law, an unabashed violation of Deuteronomy 4.2 and 12.32. 4. Maasim. The deeds or actions of rabbis or sages, justifying how a tradition should be observed, the practicality of observance. The maasim or works were derived from stories, Incidents and actions of rabbis, not scripture, making the Masim a source for new laws. No wonder Paul said to the Colossians in 2, 20-23, If you have died with Messiah to the elementary principles of the world, why, as if you were living in the world, do you submit yourself to decrees such as, Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, which all refer to things destined to perish with the using in accordance with the commandments and teachings of men. These are matters which have, to be sure, the appearance of wisdom in self-made religion and self-abasement and severe treatment of the body, but are of no value against fleshly indulgence. I believe that this was the underlying problem brewing within the ranks of the Galatian communities. It was a Pharisaic influence that had the strength to destroy the work of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Spirit of the Holy One, in Galatia. It was something that needed to be stopped dead in its tracks. So now it is time to turn to one more section of study before we actually get into my commentary on Galatians. We will now take a brief look at the prophecies concerning